morning, Pam. Got another minute. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tony Sarbanes. I'd like to welcome everyone to this annual Memorial Day service sponsored by the Wicomico War Memorial Committee. I want to thank all of you for attending. If you have a cell phone on, please turn it off. This is a very solemn occasion recognizing those people whose home record was Wicomico County and who gave their life and service to their country. There's 190 names on these plaques. So the purpose is to recognize those 190 men. The other thing is we may ask people to stand on occasion. If you're unable to do so, just raise your hand. If you're standing, raise your hand because we want to recognize veterans. That's the purpose of today's meeting. You'll find in your program a brief summary regarding Memorial Day, TAPS, the Veterans Tree of Honor and Flag Adequate, which I hope you will review. We do ask for your support of the Veterans Tree of Honor, which is open to any veteran, regardless of residence. Memorial Day is a solemn opportunity to pay tribute to the men and women who have so ably served our nation's armed forces and the tremendous sacrifices they have made for this great country. Those citizens who have been called upon to defend our nation, to risk, and in many cases, sacrifice their lives, deserve our utmost respect and gratitude, for they are responsible for the freedoms we cherish and enjoy. This solemn and lovely memorial is dedicated to the 190 men whose home of record was Wicomico County and who made the supreme sacrifice for their country. This memorial starts with World War I and goes forward to the current conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. This entire memorial was built with donations from many individuals and groups, particularly veterans and many in-kind services. Wicomico County provided the site for this lovely memorial. At this time, we're gonna ask Reverend Gilbert Newman to do the invocation. If you can stand, please do so. Remain standing for the national anthem, the Pledge of Allegiance, and the lowering of the colors. Thank you very much. First, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for taking time from your busy schedules to be here <coughs> this, for this uh, program this morning. And on a personal note, I consider it a real privilege to be just a small part of this special day. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, today is yours. We thank you for giving us this beautiful opportunity to honor the men and women who so bravely served this country in the past as well as in the present. Father, we ask you to bless and strengthen these brave souls so who so selfishly gave themselves without asking for anything in return. Father, we ask you to bless the families of our military who stayed behind while their loved one goes into battle. Keep them safe and provide for their needs. Lord, we pray for a special blessing upon those families whose loved ones gave his or her life for this country. Keep them safe and comfort their hearts. I thank you, Father, for those who are here that also stepped forward when duty called and put their lives on the line. Lord, bless them as only you can and let them know 
we thank them for their sacrifices for us. Now, Lord, bless everyone who has a part in this program today. Make this a special memory as, spe as well as a special program. Create within each of us a new attitude of gratitude for the price of freedom. For your guidance in today's program, we give you thanks. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. At this time, the National Anthem. It's great to have Ronnie Cheesem back with us to do the National Anthem. Ronnie. Detail! Attention! <clears throat> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars to the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave It's always great to hear Ronnie do that. He does a great job. If you will now join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, I would appreciate it very much. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We we'll now have the lowering of the colors by the Wicomico uh, junior ROTC st uh, students. Please be seated. Thank you very much. At this time, we'd like to take the opportunity to recognize veterans and families who are here. Again, if you're standing and we ask for you to be recognized, you please raise your hand. If you're unable to stand, just raise your hand. I really, the importance is that you be recognized. Any Gold Star mothers? I think they deserve a big round of applause. Anyone who has lost a family member in service to their country, if you would please stand. Let's give them a round of applause. Anyone who's a veteran of any service, please stand. Just look at the numbers, folks. Great, thank you very much. Please be seated. Now we're gonna do, this was something that some veterans asked us to do. Last year we did it, we're gonna do it again. If you were in World War II, please stand. World War II, my goodness. Thank you. For those of you who don't know, we had 16 million people in 
the service during World War II. 16 million, think of that. Korea, if you were in, during the Korea. <laughs> Vietnam. Iraq and Afghanistan. If anyone was a prisoner of war during any of those conflicts, please stand or raise your hand. If we have anyone who's a family member of an MIA missing in action, if you would stand. Now, I'd like to recognize elected officials who are here. I hope I don't miss anyone. I ask them to come and see me, but let's do what I have. Representing Congressman Andy Harris is Sean Jester. If you'll stand, wave your hand wherever you are. Okay. Karen Lemon, Register of Wills. County Council people, Joe Holloway, Stevie Puddyman, Gail Barkovich, John Hall. I want to give them a round of applause. Uh, Delegate Norman Conway from the Maryland House of Delegates, good to see you. Tamara Brooks representing uh, County Executive Rick Pilot. Uh, Chuck Cook representing Governor O'Malley. There are some former council members here, it's good they're here. David McLeod, John Cannon, Bill McCain. Mayor Jim Ireton of the city of Salisbury. Tim Spees, who's a council member in the city of Salisbury and a retired Navy uh, veteran. And Lee Whaley, representing Senator Ben Cardin. And I hope I got everybody. I'm sure I missed somebody. If so, please accept my apologies. Uh, at this time, uh, Senior Master Chief Retired David Souter will be doing the, red, the bell as we go through the ceremony, and David, we appreci always appreciate your service. We're going to do branch prayers, and when they do these, we would ask if the prayer applies to your branch of service, if you would please stand. This is not an exercise in fitness. It's an exercise in recognition, just so you know that. Uh, so I really do appreciate your standing. Because, again, the purpose is we want to thank and recognize veterans. That's the purpose. And their families. That's the purpose. At this time, we'll start with the branch prayers. And as your branch is mentioned, please stand with that prayer. Thank you. A prayer for the soldiers in the United States Army. Lord, mighty warrior and prince of peace, all glory and power is yours. I offer myself and my army career for the welfare of our nation and for your glory. You said, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Make us mindful of our nation's heritage and of who we are. You said, be strong and of good courage. This is my prayer. You said, a king is not saved by his great army. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. Be my protection and my strength. While I defend the nation, May all of heaven safeguard my family back home. Lord, you called me to be a soldier. March alongside of me, for my trust is in you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. A prayer for the sailors of the United States Navy. Eternal Lord, you alone spread out the heavens and rule the raging seas. 
Take into your most gracious protection our country's navy and all who serve therein. Preserve them from the dangers of the sea and from the violence of the enemy, that they may be a safeguard unto the United States of America and a security for such as sail upon the seas in peaceful and lawful missions. In serving you, O Lord, may our sailors serve their country. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, shipmates. Marines, Almighty Father, whose command is over all, and those who love never fails, make me aware of your presence and obedient to your will. Keep me true to myself, guarding me against dishonesty and purpose and deed, and help me to live so that I can face my fellow Marines, my loved ones, and you without shame or fear. Give me the will to do the work of a Marine and to accept my share of responsibilities with vigor and enthusiasm. Grant me courage to be proficient in my daily performance. Keep me loyal and faithful to my superiors and to the duties of my country and the Marine Corps have trusted to me. Make me considerate of those committed to my leadership. Help me to wear my uniform with dignity and to let it remind me daily of the tradition that I must uphold. If I am declined to doubt, steady my faith. If I am tempted, make me strong to resist. If I should miss the mark, grant me courage to try again. Guide me with the light of truth and grant me wisdom by which I understand the answer to my prayer. Amen. Amen. Semper Fi. Air Force. Guard. Lord, guard and guide the ones who fly through the great spaces of the sky. Be with them tra traversing the air in darkening storms or sunshine fair. You who keep the tender might, the balanced birds and all their flight. Lord of the tempered winds, be near that having you they know no fear. Control their minds with instinct vict. When air adventuring, they quit firm security of land, grand steadfast eye and skillful hand. Aloft in solitudes of space, uphold them with your saving grace. O oh God, protect the ones who fly through the lonely skies, lonely ways beneath the sky. Amen. All members of the United States Coast Guard, please stand. <coughs> Almighty and everlasting God, whose hands still the tomb of the deep, we offer our prayers for those who serve in our Coast Guard. We are mindful of their tradition of selfless service to the seafarers who made their ways to appointed point, ports. Employ their devotion of good ends as they track the weather and search the seas for those in extremely in the extremities of storms, shipwreck, or battle. Making their sounding and marking sure that safe passage may be found by those who come down to the sea in ships. Encourage them, O Lord, as they stand guard over our coast and the bulwarks of our freedom. Graciously deliver them from theaters, calamities, in all their perilous voyage. Bless the keepers of the light. Be thou their close friends in lonely watches. Keep the beacon of honor and duties bearing that they may reach the home port with duty well performed. In service to thee and to our land. Amen. In memory of those who served in the Merchant Marine, please stand if you wish. Let us pray. Eternal Lord God, who alone spreads out the heavens and rules the raging of the seas, receive into your protection all those who go down to the sea in ships and occupy their business on the great waters. 
Preserve them both in body and soul. Prosper their labors with good success in all times of danger. Be their defense and bring them to the haven where they would be. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Before uh, Ed Tattersall reads the names, I would like to recognize the War Memorial Committee. It's a great group of individuals. If you're st seated, stand. If you're standing, raise your hand. I think they deserve a great round of applause for putting this together. And we could not do this program without the hard work of Ed Tattersall and Tammy Taylor. So if you see them, thank them. They're the ones who do most of the work to make this program the success that it is. At this time, Ed Tattersall will read the names of those on the plaques. World War I. Private Samuel H. Bailey. Private Johnny W. Baker. Private Herman Ballard. Private First Class Cohen H. Carey. Private John W. Church. Private First Class Lloyd R. Colburn. Private Clarence S. Davis. Private George B. Davis. Private Franklin A. Dick. Private William W. Disharoon. Private John R. Dykes. Private Perry B. Farmer. Private Samuel Grissom, Private James C. Hamby, Private First Class Herman F. Handy, Private John W. H. Heyman, Private George R. Hill, Corporal Clarence H. Hosier, Private Paul C. Howard, Private William J. Houston, Private John E. Layfield, Corporal George S. Malone, Corporal Theodore McClung McClay Clement, Private Kenny J. Moore, Private Joshua W. Parker, Corporal Edward M. Pa Porter, Private Richard A. Powell, Private First Class Frederick D. Pusey, Private First Class Glenn Rain, Seaman Herbert H. Renshaw, Captain Charles H. Riggin, Private Walton Smith, Private Raymond H. Smullen, Private First Class William P. Taylor, Private Archie W. Truitt, Private Arthur E. Walker, Private Harry L. White, Private Ralph E. Windsor, Private Wallace S. Winfrey. World War II. <laughs> Private Grover A. Abrams, Private First Class Ralph E. Adams, Private First Class Philip G. Adkins, Seaman First Class Milton G. Austin, Private First Class James T. Bailey, Technical Sergeant Brenton W. Baker, Staff Sergeant Woodrow J. Beasley, Private James R. Balot, Private Glenn L. Bennett, First Class Richard J. Burton, Aviation Machinist First Class Edward F. Booth, Jr., Private First Class George Bosman, Second Lieutenant Francis L. Brown, Jr., Private James E. Campbell, Corporal Gay Ganfield, Sergeant Harry E. Christner, Lieutenant J. G. Howard F. Clark, Private First Class William M. Collins, Technical Sergeant Arthur P. Crisp, Staff Sergeant John G. Cropper, Aviation Ordnance Man Second Class Wayne E. Cummings, Private First Class Robert Day, Radium and Third Class Lloyd F. Dennis, Jr., Private First Class Owen H. Dennis, Warren Officer J. G. Floyd W. Shields, Corporal Harry E. Dolby, Jr., Private Clarence M. Do Doyle, Private First Class Earl Dryden, Private First Class Harold E. Dutton, Staff Sergeant Ernest L. Esham, Tech 5 Elwood F. Evans, Corporal Elton W. Farlow, Sergeant Hugh P. Freeman, Lieutenant Colonel Samuel W. Freeney, Private First Class Roland E. Galicia, Second Lieutenant Vernon L. German, Private First Class Wilbert H. Gosley, Corporal Tyler W. Graham, Private Henry J. Gully, Jr., Corporal William S. Hartman. Private First Class Howard Hastings. Electrician's Mate First Class Richard B. Hitch. Seaman's Mate Third Class William D. Hopkins. 
Seaman First Class Lewis J. Howard Jr. Private First Class Charles E. Jackson Jr. Private First Class Edward L. Johnson. Sergeant George Kirkish. Master Sergeant Curtis P. King. Private Scott J. Langford. Private First Class Alton J. Latcham. Private First Class William H. Layfield. Seaman First Class Coward A. Lacates. Private First Class George H. Lewis. Private First Class George H. Long. Private First Class Johnny C. Long. Staff Sergeant Howard J. Malone. First Lieutenant Robert R. Malone. Master William Mac Martino. Private Edmund L. Massey. Aviation Radiant Second Class Ralph C. McCain. Messman William Claude Messick. Private First Class Owen G. Mills. Private Thomas W. Mitchell, Jr. Pharmacist Mate Third Class Marion Moore. Private First Class Norman W. Morris. Private First Class Stanley W. Morris. Private First Class Carlton L. Mumford. Staff Sergeant William C. Mumford, Jr. Private Harry Neal. Private Philip J. Nepton. Ensign Walter P. Knott, Jr. Stewards Mate Second Class Julius Nutter. Private First Class Thurman F. Parker. Corporal William V. Parker. Aviation Radium and First Class Willis A. Parker. Private First Class Andrew B. Purdue. Private Howard D. Perry. Aviation Orders Man third, Second Class Samuel H. Polson. Quartermaster Third Class James R. Powell. Private Ortho T. Powell. Private First Class Albert G. Price. Second Lieutenant John T. Price. Private First Class William E. Rapp. Technical Sergeant Robert E. Rencher. Private First Class Herbert L. Ruark, Jr. Sergeant Ralph L. Ruark. Second Lieutenant Elmer G. Shantz. Staff Sergeant Clifford H. Smith. Private First Class Edwin F. Smith. Private First Class Albert G. Smullen. First Lieutenant David L. Somerville. Staff Sergeant Harry A. Spear, Jr. Private First Class Donald G. Taylor. Private Herbert Taylor. Private First Class John H. Taylor. Private James E. Thomas. Private First Class Paul E. Tingle. Se Seaman First Class George W. Townsend, Jr. Private Edward F. Truitt. Sergeant James R. Truitt. Private Eldon L. Tyrell. Sergeant Bertram L. Ware. Second Lieutenant Lacey R. Westfall. Private First Class Wallace R. White. Private Alvin K. Wilkins. Private Benton M. Wilkins. Private First Class Lewis W. Williams. Second Seaman Second Class Charles L. Young, Captain Charles M. Zulick. Korean War. <coughs> Private William Anderson, Private Richard L. Bacon, Private First Class Miamaya E. Butler, Private First Class Alan, Alan D. DeShield, Lieutenant J. G. Jo Joseph J. Gallner, Sergeant Rodney E. Johnson. Master Sergeant John F. Parker, Private First Class Edward R. F. Richards, Private First Class Philip C. Scowles, Private First Class Freeman C. Waller, Vietnam. <coughs> Specials Barry V. Barnes, Private First Class Gary L. Bounds, Major Richard W. Cropper, Copper Cooper Jr., Private Elmer N. Davis, Specials William J. Dalbert, Staff Sergeant Cecil V. Evans, Private First Class Aaron M. Hopkins. Airman Second Class Robert Hudson. Private Marion B. Hughes, Jr. Lance Corporal Albert T. Jones. Corporal Frederick R. Kilman. Colonel Ernest A. Oles. Airman First Class Nor Norman W. McRoby. Private First Class William T. Parker, the third. Staff Sergeant Charles W. Parsons. Corporal Norman L. J. J. Pearson. Staff Sergeant George T. Powell. Warrant Officer Willard E. Price, uh, Specialist Carl Ratchliffe, Jr., Staff Sergeant George L. Robertson, Private First Class David S. Sheldon, Lance Corporal Don L. Shockley, Private First Class Jack H. Smith, Corporal Harry R. Watson, Sergeant Neopol Neopolis Wigfall, Specialist John D. Willingham, Enduring Freedom, Staff Sergeant Walter F. Cohey III. Iraqi Freedom. Private First Class Robert J. Robert A. Guy. Corporal Eric T. Caldwell. 
Sergeant Thomas L. Latcham, Staff Sergeant Michael J. McMullen, and Corporal Son Mc Michael Mitchell. Thank you. Prior to the benediction, I really want to thank everyone for attending. This is our 10th year of doing this program. You're invited to join us in the Da Nang Room, which is directly behind me. If you go into the Civic Center, or you can go through the courtyard. We do have some light refreshments in recognition of 10 years of providing this program. Uh, Reverend Newman will now join us for the benediction. Let us pray. Dear God of grace and glory, we ask you that your love, guidance, and presence go with us as we leave this memorial service. As we continue to honor our flag and our nation, please deepen our understanding of our national motto, in God we trust, until our hearts would be warmed. We ask that your divine presence direct our purpose and strengthen our national board as a union of the people, by the people, and for the people. And may your grace, dear God, the love of your Son, and the guidance of your Holy Spirit go with us, we pray. Amen. Again, we want to thank you. I would be remiss if I didn't recognize one person, Reverend Harvey Dixon, who's done this program for years. Reverend Newman is filling in for him, and it's good to see you out and about. Again, we thank you very much for attending. If you can join us for some light refreshments, please feel free to do so. But thank a veteran for the freedoms that we have. Thank you very much. We'll start with, just talk to me right here. Give me your name, name, rank, and serial number. No. Name, the war that you fought in, branch of the service. You'll have to ask me again. No, well, to, uh, and then what Memorial Day means for you? Uh, I was T5 in, in the 69th Division. I was in the 99th in, in uh, Belgium. Okay. And uh, I, what, what was it, all the questions? December. Oh, give, give me your name and what branch of the service? Alan Smith, the Army. 
All right. Uh, spell that Allen, A L L? A L A N. That's the way I write it. A L A N? Yeah. I have no problem with Smith unless it's different than what it normally is. Yeah. All right. Say, I'm Alan Smith and I served in the Army in Belgium. Belgium. In, in Germany. It went all the way across Germany. That's, I was a replacement for the Battle of the Boards. Okay, now give me all that in one sentence if you can. My name is Alan D. Smith. I was in the hey, Army. Hey, hey. I, I, I've had this stuff come on me for this this year. But anyway, uh, is that taping that too? You're doing great, you're doing great. Just said, uh, my name is Alan Smith and I was... My, my, my serial number is 3390-8790. And what does Memorial Day mean to you? It means a lot, because I'm... I'm, I'm uh, I, I was into it and it won. And, and uh, it, it, we're doing it for the country and all the people here. I guess. I don't ask for something. That was good. That was good. I can't remember now, too much now. That's okay. That's okay. Um, now, if you just if you just say, uh, you get a little wind noise here. These, these old people passed everything. Well, no, no, no. That was good. That was good. It's just the wind picks up right now. Yeah. I was in, I was in machine gun squad too. And wow. Stuff like that. And, uh, first, first, uh, two seventy third regiment. Okay. Why? If you can use Memorial Day in your answer, why is it important for us to remember the veterans? Because I love my country. That's that's that's, that's the only thing I can. I can't do stuff like you're doing, but I, uh, I I I I never back down from nothing. I almost killed a man one day over there in Leipzig, and, but he was too close to me. And I, I jumped out of a building, and he 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 went to begging me and laid this bazooka down on the street. Yeah. I, it was a it was a lot of dead people there where I joined going into combat. I guess it was 25 acres or more, and, and it was uh, everywhere you look was American and German. That's we, we had to take their places. So we took the 99th Division's places, six of them did. I joined them in France. I was a replacement going over. Yeah, I, I, I forgot a lot of stuff. I wish I could tell you more, but I can't. That's perfect. All right, basically just give me your name and how to spell it. Right now you want me yep. to give you a name? Yep. To you or yep. to the camera? Okay, I'm Cadet Second Lieutenant Flag, Ryan Flag. Okay. okay. Uh, all right, Ryan, uh, just talk to me. That's all you have to do. Okay. And you're going to say, I'm uh, Cadet Second Lieutenant Ryan Flag with the... U.S. Army JROTC. Okay. And... Uh, Memorial Day means to me. Okay. Right now? Yep. Okay. No, I'm not to me. Okay. I'm and Cadet. Don't move yet. Okay. okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm Cadet Second Lieutenant Ryan Flagg with U.S. Army JROTC Tribe Battalion at Wicomico High School. And uh, what Memorial Day means to me is it means uh, it's in remembrance of the people who fought for our freedom. And uh, I had a grandfather that was in the military. So it really, it really is an important day for the veterans to get remembered and also recognized in our community. I'm gonna be right here. And first, give me your name and how to spell it. My name and how to spell it, yes, Samantha, S-A-M-A-N-T-H-A. Last name? Lewis, L-A-W-I-S. Okay, yeah. all right, just look at me. And remember, you're gonna say who you are, who you're with, and what Memorial Day means to you, okay? <laughs> Right. Oh. Just relax. Okay. I am Cadet First Lieutenant Lewis. Uh, I go to Y High, y high School, Y Comico High School. Okay. I'm with the okay. RTC. Stop you Thank you. The mayor. The mayor just. I just messed behind. myself up anyway. So. No, I'm just teasing the mayor. I'm just teasing the mayor. <laughs> you had the mayor in your shot. All right. Just relax and just talk to me. I can't talk like that. No, no. It's just a conversation. That's all. I don't have conversations. Who, who you are? Who you're with? And what Memorial Day means to you? Okay. I'm Cadet First Lieutenant Lewis. 
Okay. I just keep looking at me, pay no attention. I go to Wicomico High School. Memorial Day means to me is honoring those who served and gave up their lives when they really didn't have to. Okay. Relax. I am relaxed. Just talk to me. I am talking to you. But I, I need it all one together. We had a little break there. That's okay. You did great. It's just technically my fault. And keep looking at me. I don't have anything else okay. to say. Okay. We're going to do it again. You never do anything just once. Take two. Relax. 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 Oh. See, now, every time you move, I got to, you might oh. do it again. But it looks good. All right? You did great. It was just technical on my end. Who you, are, over. who you are, who you're, who you're with, and what Memorial Day means to you. Okay. Thank you I'm Cadet First Lieutenant Lewis. I am with Wicomico High School. Memorial Day to me means honoring those who served and gave up their life when they really didn't have to. That's it. All right, just need uh, uh, how you want your name to appear on screen, how you spell it. Okay, L-O-U-I-S, last name B-E-L-D-O-T-T-I. All right, just talk to me. All right. Uh, who you are who you're with, what Memorial Day means to you, and how important is it to see these young cadets uh, take, participate in this. All right. Whenever you're in. All right. Hi, I'm uh, Master Sergeant Retired Louis Beldotti with the United States Army. I currently teach Junior ROTC at Wicomico Senior High School. Um, Memorial Day means a lot to me, being the fact that I served 27 years myself in the United States Army. And uh, it brings to memory the brothers and sisters that came before me and gave the ultimate sacrifice. And uh, what a wonderful thing it was to have our cadets learn, grow up in the Army kind of atmosphere, but not being in the Army at the same time, and learning how we do business. I think it's absolutely outstanding, and they've done a wonderful job today. Natural. Thank you. All right. And thank you for your service. Oh, thank you, brother. Oh, yeah, I don't want to make up with your mic. <laughs> That's okay. I don't want to listen to you all the way home. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Almost. What else? Well, is that in this book? It's in here, though. We didn't look at it, but so far these are still out. Number 16. Yeah. Tell me who you are. Uh, my name is uh, Elwood Nelson, uh, known in uh, by most people who know me solidly by the name of Buddy Nelson, class of 1954, Wicomica High School. That's and uh, we live in Salisbury in the summer in Florida in the winter. So we're here each Memorial Day, and uh, I think Wicomica County has uh, put forth uh, each year for the last 10 years at least a fitting tribute to. Uh, the men and women who have uh, 
gave it all in, in the defense of their country. And again, uh, let me say that uh, it's an honor to have been here today and to pay uh, my uh, uh, respects and I look forward to, uh, uh, to this in, in the future years. Very good, very good. And one last thing, since you did so well, I'm going to ask you one more. Okay. Uh, uh, why, why is it important for us to remember? Yeah, remember our veterans is, is necessary to, to believe in the system of the country and what it stands for. And, what, and the veterans are the, the, the guardians of the, the principles of our country which is capitalism and home, country, and God, not necessarily in any given order, but to, make, to ensure our freedoms and in the defense of our Constitution and it's very, very important. And, it's, and this is why many of these, these men and women over the years have, have gave it all in, in that defense. And uh, that's why I'm here today to provide uh, to provide the respect that they they duly deserve, and uh, and myself, I'm a Vietnam veteran of two years in Vietnam, and and uh, ooh, there was a lot of uh, makeup that has been done to with the uh, Vietnam veterans because it was during the Pearl of '68 period that there was a lot of anti-war and a lot of sentiment and disrespect. So I think we're coming, coming full circle now and, and the Vietnam vets are getting uh, what was due. So a big welcome home to all the Vietnam vets. Very good, very nice. Okay. But uh, we'll just say all you. All right, right you ready? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Tony Sarbanes. I'm chairman of the Wicomico County War Memorial Committee. It's really an honor as a veteran for me to chair that committee. It's a great group of people. And every year, we look forward to providing this service recognizing veterans. The highlight of the ceremony, actually, is reading the names of 190 men, and no women, thank goodness, who have given, whose home of record was Wicomico County and who gave their life in service to their country. We go back to World War I and go forward from there and as you could probably imagine, uh, 106 of those names were World War II. 39 World War I, 22 in Vietnam, 10 in Korea, and 6 in Iran and Afghanistan. We really appreciate the people who come out and support us. We recognize veterans. That's the key of the entire ceremony. We ask them to stand so people can recognize them. And we really appreciate everything that's done at, by the Youth and Civic Center people to help us. Without their support of recreation, parks, and tourism, we could not uh, put this program on. And a special thanks goes to Ed Tattersall, who puts the program together, and Tammy Taylor, who works at the Civic Center and who is actively involved in supporting the committee in every possible way. It's an honor and a pleasure for me, as a veteran, to be involved in this ceremony as we recognize veterans who have done so much to preserve our liberties and our freedoms that we enjoy each and every day. All right,
Are you taping volume? Yep. What's that? Are you taping volume while you're doing it? Yeah. No, no. No, you're good. No problem. Thanks for asking though.
parts that you gotta find first.